Hi everyone, a little bit of an unusual intro to my videos today. This is all about a new concept of buying your stamps and buying inspiration at the same time. So it's a collaboration between Rubber Darts who provide the gorgeous stamps you've seen me using many times before and me providing the inspiration and the tuition in order to get you started with your brand new purchase. Why do we buy the stamps we buy? What makes us buy or choose that particular set of stamps? Well, I don't know about you, it's about ideas. A class, a workshop, Facebook, Pinterest, blog, something you've seen before, something you've seen perhaps here on my YouTube channel. I want to make that card and you go out and buy that set of stamps. That's all very well. Once you've made that card, then what do you do? If you can identify with this scenario, then listen up because this is a concept for you. What about buying your stamps with tuition that you can go to any time you need a bit of inspiration. Ten full tutorials talking you through all sorts of different ways of using those stamps, introducing lots of different techniques that you might not have tried before. Um, things from cards all the way through to home decor pieces and perhaps gifts for friends, all sorts of ideas and all sorts of different ways to think about using those stamps. A real kickstart on getting you to get the most value for money out of these gorgeous stamps that you've just invested in. So when you make your purchase, you will get your set of stamps from the Rubber Dance Stamp Company. Whichever set that you decide to buy, you will be sure that you're going to get a quality red rubber set of stamps, beautiful designs and fabulous impressions. And if you want to see some of those stamps in action, don't forget to check out my Rubber Dance playlist because I've been part of the design team for some time now. Love the stamps. Vouch for the quality time after time. I don't even mount the stamps, which obviously is cheaper. And... Uh, I get fabulous impressions time after time. If now and again I get a particularly large stamp, I might stamp onto a stamping mat. But other than that, mount them straight on the block and ink them up and you're good to go. And while you're eagerly awaiting the happy mail to arrive, you will be getting an email from me, which will give you everything that you need to get started to have a little sneak peek of what you could be getting up to. So you'll get all your video links, a comprehensive set of tutorials within those videos. You'll get a PDF file which gives you all the project photographs, all the cutting guides and all the suggested materials lists. So everything you need to be able to create 10 beautiful projects with your brand new set of stamps. When we decided what would be the first set of stamps that we would bring to you, I wanted to bring you something a little bit more unusual, something you might perhaps not think of buying if you saw them yourself without all the ideas. And I really, really loved using these stamps. And you will see from the projects I'm about to show you just how much variety is included in this little set of stamps. These are mushrooms by Rubber Dance and I know that perhaps if I said to you mushroom stamps that you might think of a sketch of a mushroom, a drawing of a mushroom, something a little bit more fairy tale looking but these are mushrooms that look like mushrooms, mushrooms that you buy in the shop, mushrooms that you eat, mushrooms that perhaps have been pressed onto a page somehow, really great images and I had great fun working with them and I am excited to show you the projects that we've got coming up. So while a few glimpses of what tutorials await you when you make this purchase, I am going to tell you about how these tutorials will work for you. In the first instance, if you're a beginner or advanced, you're going to find something here to suit your talents or you're going to find something that's going to push your talents a little bit further. I'll give you all the information you need to be able to follow the techniques. I hopefully will introduce you to a few new techniques and I think that when you see a technique um, on a video you will be able to think well actually I could change that a little bit you can see that because of what I'm doing in front of your eyes so whether you're advanced or beginner you're going to be able to see things that will challenge you but don't forget you can stop and start me as many times as you like you can rewind me you can make me say it again and again and again and I can even be paused while you go and get a cup of coffee so I won't mind a bit however you choose to use these videos wherever you are in the world whatever time you want to sit down and craft that's the beauty of an online tutorial and then there's the ideas Look at your stamps in a different light. Change a mushroom into a flower. Give it a little bit of dimension. So this project is perfect for showing you that, taking it a little bit further, keeping it simple, adding a little bit of dimension, and then going the whole hog, making a background with the same stamp and this beautiful dimensional flower. Who would have thought from a mushroom? So 
As these series build up, I want to give you lots and lots of ideas, lots of new techniques. This one is an acetate and paint technique. Makes a total different look of your stamps. But you can even step this technique up further. And when I uh, feel that I could be doing that, I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is that same technique, but taking a few steps further. So not only will you get cards in these packages of tutorials and stamps, but you will also get other little trinkets as well. So this is a home decor piece. You might think, oh, pink's not my colour. Well, don't worry, because you can use any of the colours of embossing powders and inks that you've got in your collection. Make it much more subtle in a much paler, perhaps peach or green to match your home decor. And here's that flower given another dimension by the fact that Bibby always gives us stamps in different sizes. So the same stamp in different sizes works really well. Now I have to say that this was an idea from Bibby. It's an invitation, but it could be a birthday card. But this little mushroom chap was something that she said that she'd done with the stamp and I thought I'd make little characters of my own. So you can really go to town with these stamps, look at them in different ways. It's not just a mushroom after all. Now you can see, could also be a dandelion clock. This is a much more elegant look. That's the other thing that you will see. Lots and lots of different styles. I'm a bit of a butterfly myself when it comes to crafting and I like lots of different things and I want to give you lots of different ways and different styles that you can be trying for yourself. What about this as a gift? You could make this little notebook and I will show you how to make the entire book, not just the stamping on the front and in the, on the inside. This could be made into all sorts of different projects. And last but not least, a little bit of mixed media. So I'm doing it in a journal, but you could quite easily be doing this on a canvas or perhaps turn it into a Valentine's card. Take the design and pare it down a little bit and you'll soon have a card for someone you love. That's coming up very soon. So just to recap, when you purchase the item you will get 10 tutorials for the mushroom stamp set. All the dimensions and materials are listed as well as photographs of the projects and all the, the links that you will need to the videos that you can access anytime will be sent to you by email from me and the stamp set will be sent to you by Rubber Dance. One more thing to think about, if you've already got the stamps, you can buy the tutorials on their own. So we're offering any of those combinations. You can buy the stamps on their own, you can buy the tutorials on their own, you can buy them together, which is the perfect choice if you ask me. If you haven't already got the stamps and you like the look of all these projects, then please pop over to visit either me or Bibby to make your purchase. So in the description box down below, you will find the links to my Etsy shop or to rubberdance.com. What's the difference? No difference in what you're going to buy today. You can buy both of these items from me or from Bibby. So either from my Etsy shop, if you visit my Etsy shop, you will also see some of my other workshops. If you visit Bibby over at Rubber Dance, you will find a whole host more stamps, all of which I'll be working on very soon. And just to give you a little sneak peek, here is what I am working on at the moment. So it's a little bit of Christmas and I give you a head start on the end of the year. Did I really say the Christmas word? <gasps> Hush my mouth. <laughs> Until next time, I look forward to creating with you very soon. Thank you for watching.